I think we're gonna see a, a, a little bit of of, um, of a a dip. Um, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna crash it's because supply and demand is 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 it's still you know it's still a thing. So yeah, you know what? I, listen, if you go back and listen to that podcast that I had with her, what you're saying now it was exactly what I was saying, and she yeah. quickly corrected me. Really? She, yeah, she said that we are already oversupplied. And I'm like, what? She goes, she goes. If you take up and you add up all the housing starts that are on the books, not the ground hasn't been broken yet, but the plans yeah. have already been approved. We are oversupply of demand. And once the market turns, the interest rates start going up. Many of yeah. these home sales are not first time home buyers and not one time home buyers. Many of the people buying homes are they're buying their second and third homes. Right. So when the market turns, they're going to unload those as fast as they can. And that, that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that's that's another that's another take on it. At the end of the day, yeah. it, everything's so volatile. Honestly, yeah. I bank on stuff that I can see within you know the ne next couple of months or so. Yeah. Um, playing long term, especially in a in a in a market that is a, as dynamic as ours is, and I'm talking nationwide, it's just it's just crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. it's hard to pinpoint right what happened. So, yeah. but yeah, to answer your question, I am I'm capitalizing. I'm putting you know just kind of collecting the nuts and then waiting for something to just kind of trickle. So I. I, I am invested in a couple of different avenues, um, but I do feel like there's going to be an opportunity coming around the corner where you can come in and capitalize on maybe not like, you know, 2008, uh, hopefully, because that's, I mean, that's a cluster mess, but uh, it's, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of opportunity coming into it. You know, I'll tell you that you made a very good point and I haven't heard anybody say this yet, you know, and what's going on right now, an investor should be looking short term, uh, yeah. get in, get out. Uh, you know, buying now and holding long term. You know, I, I was I was doing that back in 2007, 2008. And that's not a good strategy when the market is that is that hot. Yeah. So yeah, you're spot on. There's so, there's seasons, right? There's seasons for everything. I mean, for example, look at uh, look at Airbnb. Airbnb, I mean, it's just, you know, it's exploding, right? But there's HOA communities that are coming in and then really cranking down on it. So so you have, you know, somewhat of a, a starting to see like a limitation on that. Uh, take wholesaling, for example. Wholesaling is kind of like the evergreen runway, right? Uh, but now there's certain states that are requiring licenses. So we have a couple yeah, of yeah. states already that's in there. Once the blueprint is out, uh, it's only a matter of time before different states and, and municipalities start jumping yeah. up that kind of stuff. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, there's seasons for everything. We have to be dynamic enough to adjust and, and adapt to what's happening.